guys, thanks for joining me. Today we are gonna be making donut burgers. So first, you're gonna wanna definitely have a drink for this. I am drinking mimosas today. A big mimosas. What are you drinking? Probably not a mimosa, but you should definitely be drinking one. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna need some ground meat. We just went to Walmart, bought some. And you're gonna wanna get a big bowl because you're gonna wanna mix in some ingredients with this. I am mixing in sugar, Worcester sauce, and a little bit of shredded cheese into the hamburger meat to give it a little bit of flavor. So we're gonna open this and just squeeze that out. And you're also gonna need, obviously, donuts because you're making a donut burger. And we're gonna add bacon to it and some cheese. Now, the cool thing about donut burgers is you can really get creative with it and add in whatever you wanna add. You can add in um, condiments, a little bit of mayonnaise, mustard. I don't think that sounds too good to me, so I'm not doing that. Oh, there we go. Okay. So you got your hamburger meat. You're gonna add in just a little bit of sugar, not a bunch. Just sprinkle that shit in there. And then a little bit of shredded cheese. That was a lot, but that's okay, because cheese is awesome, right? If you watched my last video, you know that. And some Worcester sauce. And you're gonna mix all of this together. Actually, before you do all that, you're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 350 to cook the bacon, because that's how I'm cooking my bacon. So I'm glad I remembered that. All right, so we're gonna set that aside and let the Worcester sauce soak up in the hamburger meat. Get you another pan for the bacon. Take some bacon. No, it doesn't matter how much bacon you want because bacon's awesome. I am doing four pieces of bacon, two pieces on each burger. And make sure, like I said, your oven is preheated to 350. So once your oven preheats, you're gonna wanna put this in the oven. And you're gonna wanna cook that for about 20 minutes. It depends on how crispy you like your bacon. I like mine pretty crispy. Now don't forget, your mimosa. Hmm. That's a good ass mimosa. All right, so while you're cooking the bacon, mix together all your hamburger meat and ingredients. The sugar, Worcester sauce. You can even add in a little bit of seasoning if you want. Some uh, seasonal garlic powder, Tony Sachery's, whatever sounds good to you. You know, get playful with it and just test it out. It could be good, it could be really gross. I don't know. I guess it really just depends on what you add into your burgers. So we're gonna mix all that in there. Try to. All right. So I'm gonna make two today. Scoot this pan over here. And make your patties. Make sure you make them a little bit bigger than the donut because that's just the right way to do it. And when I say go, right? Just joking. <laughs> All right, so that's a pretty decent sized burger. Actually, I'm gonna add in just a little tiny bit more meat. There we go. And make sure it's round because your donut is round. Unless you go somewhere and they make square donuts. I don't know where that is, so if you know a place that makes square donuts, tell me, because that's kind of cool. So just get all that and make a big round, <laughs> a big round hamburger. <laughs> all right, there we go. So you got your two patties or however many you wanna make. I have enough to make about probably four, but I'm only gonna make two for right now. Set that aside. Obviously wash your hands cause you don't wanna do cross contamination, right? That's nasty. Lávate las manos. Is that a spell? Lávate las manos. 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 So now that you've
you've washed your hands and they're nice and clean, you should have already been washing your hands anyways, like for a lot of people. Um, you're gonna turn on the oven, which is, all right. And you're gonna turn that on high and you're gonna cook it, it's probably gonna take about 30 minutes to cook. I'm cooking mine on a skillet. You can make them on a grill, you can do them on a George Foreman. Um, you can really do them however you want. I think you could even do them in the oven if you want. I've never made a hamburger in the oven though, so. Let me make sure this is all there. Okay, I got the right one on this time, the right burner. There we go. And then you wait for your bacon, which has got about 16 minutes left, and you wait for your hamburger, which is gonna take about 30 minutes. And while you're waiting, drink your mimosa, or whatever you're sipping on. Like I said, let me know. So good. I got this big ass wine glass from a uh, champagne glass from Amazon. It was like $13, guys. That's it, just $13. So I'd say go buy one. Holds a whole bottle of champagne. And for my mimosa, I just added in some fresh strawberries, cherries, and I actually don't like orange juice. I drink mango juice, pineapple mango juice. So. So now that your hamburger patties are almost done and your bacon is out of the oven, you're gonna wanna add on a little bit of cheese, or a slice of cheese, I should say. And you're gonna wanna add that on to the patty so it melts a little bit. And you can use any kind of cheese. I'm using extra sharp cheddar cheese. But like I said, any kind of cheese is fine because guess what, cheese is fucking great, as I've said in all my other videos. All right. And you're just gonna wanna press that down a little bit so it melts into the patty. Press that shit down in there. Oh, yum. Okay, so now that your cheese is almost melted on your hamburgers, don't forget to drink the drink. Mm. That's probably the best mimosa I have ever made, guys. Just one second. So you're gonna take your donuts. You need two because you're making a donut burger. You're gonna add on your hamburger with the cheese to the donut. There we go. Ta-da! Make sure to turn off your oven because you don't want to, or your stove because you don't want to burn your house down. And you're gonna add on, like I said, as much bacon or as little as you want. I'm adding on two pieces to each because I love bacon. So I'm just gonna do this crisscross applesauce. You know, like back when we were in uh, elementary school. Yeah. Add that bacon on there. And then take the other side of your donut and just smack that shit right on top and do a little squish so all of it gets together perfectly. And there you go, guys. Let me see, yeah, definitely come over here and get that, because that looks awesome. Ta-da! the verdict? Well, very for me, it's actually a good uh, combination between the bacon, the saltiness of the bacon, and the sugary of the donut. Oh. So, and the juicy of the hamburger, so it's okay. actually pretty good. We like that, man. We did good this time. Oh, we didn't really fuck it up this time. <laughs> <laughs>